Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So you guys notice I am on the mini, but you guys probably read the title of the video anyways. And what we're going to be doing today is doing something we haven't done in a very long time because we just haven't gotten the opportunity to. And we're going to be showing you guys some competitive gameplay. So today my team Space Station Gaming went up against Ince, which consists of a lot of good Brazilian players such as Consti, a lot of you guys know him. And when we played a game worth 16 thousand us dollars so it was just a best of five um, which means five different modes and a best of five per mode so what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys part one and we're going to be showing you guys part two tomorrow just because it is a long series and you know it's going to take a while it would be like a 45 minute video and we we cannot be doing that it's way too long so part one today part two tomorrow without speaking anymore let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened Okay, so getting into the first game here, let's talk a little bit quickly about the format. Let's explain everything to you guys. So the first game is penalty kick. So basically what happens is there's five games on penalty kick maximum. The goal is to get three wins per map. If you get that, that means you win the map and then you move on to the next map, obviously. And the first one to win three maps takes it home. So we're facing a Brazilian team. So obviously one team from NA, one team from South America. You, one team is going to have delay. And unfortunately right now we have delay. Now we were expecting to have delay. So we did go with a triple tank comp. Right now, um, we spoke with them a little bit in the game room. They said they had close to zero delay, so their comp was definitely a really good comp for the time. Um, so what's going on right here is basically us just trying to survive going a triple tank comp. Um, it's pretty difficult to take the dub over here because they do have a comp basically prepared for triple tank. Um, or not prepared, but that does very well, especially with the Nita stun. It's so effective right now. But anyways, OG's gonna try and hit a super there. He's not gonna be able to hit it. You guys can see me and OG are kind of, or me and Crying are kind of at the bottom of the screen, kind of just like vibe and doing our things. So there's also bans. Each team gets to ban one brawler. We thought that both teams were gonna ban M's, um, and there were only was only gonna be one brawler ban. But instead, we decided to go um, to well, we continued to ban M's, even though we were considering banning something else, just in case only one brawler would be banned. We banned M's and they banned Jackie, so that really worked out. Two very overpower overpowered brawlers are banned. So we got to kind of just do whatever. So OG's gonna use his super there. He forgot to use his stun, which is a little bit or not a stun, his gadget, which is a little bit unfortunate. I get two players um almost a one shot, especially Marcel Guido. I only kind of got to half half health. OG was gonna try and make a play there. He didn't get any hits, so he wasn't able to break any walls. But the game's kind of going okay right now. Um, we're kind of under the circumstance where we have a lot of delay and there's not much we can do. So we're trying to just kind of get to overtime. Because although tri triple tank isn't great in overtime, it's a lot of damage output that you have to have. Consti only has one more stun with his Nita left, so we can't do too much damage. And they do have a Barley, which is one of the worst overtime brawlers. So we were pretty hyped um, with the position we were currently in considering the delay. Um, OG's trying to get some hits over there. Again, he's kind of missing from point blank, but it's super difficult for him to, hit, to get hits. I'm able to take out Consti over there. OG's going to push Marcel, and he's just going to try and take out this bear over here. I think he is going to go down over there, but to be honest, that's fine. We, ha we have some type of like mid position. It's kind of even right now with only 15 seconds left. So we are in a pretty good position to take home this dub. I used my super there a little bit premature, but at the same time, it kind of did work out. I push up to the top over there. I'm able to take out Guido, but Int uh, Marcel is able to take me out. And it's a 2v2 right here. I'm feeling pretty confident. OG's able to hit a super. Crying Man's going to make a roll, make a decent play. I think he clicked the auto aim button for a shot and then picked up the ball. And because of the two second delay, it just ended up shooting the ball. Um, two of my teammates are going to go down. Marcel has the ball. And this is honestly a really good play. Marcel is a super. Crying Man gets a little bit too close. We had the sides covered. Marcel shoots and quickly gets the pull. Wouldn't be possible if you had delay. Fortunately for them, they didn't have delay this game. And they're going to take the one to nothing lead in the Brawl Ball set. So with that being said, let's hop into the second game and let's see what happened. Okay, so hopping into the next game, we decided that triple tank would not work with delay with our Frank shooting backwards, Rosa getting hard, a little bit hard to take it, to take some shots. We decided to go with the combo a little bit more comfortable with. Now, Crying Man has been playing a lot of Tara as of late um, in our practices, and he's very comfortable with it. You guys know I'm obviously comfortable with Gene. And then Mr. P is just a really good all-around brawler that OG can definitely hold position with, so that's obviously really good. So unfortunately, OG is going to go down right at the start, but that's honestly fine just because, you know, we, we kind of have this like figured out at the moment. Now it is a really good position for them. So that's obviously really good. Tried to use my gadget there. Unfortunately, wasn't able to because of this delay and they do have a pretty good play. So OG's kind of in the net right now. I think he should have moved up, but he was expecting me to be able to. I catch the ball, but unfortunately I catch the ball like half a tile too early. Not Nothing I could have done, just unfortunate timing and they're able to get the goal. So I switched to Gene because, you know, we're able to hit these Gene pulls. So I'm going to get pulled over here. I think I'm going to be able to stay alive. No, I'm going to use my gadget and not be able to stay alive. 
Pretty good playing so far by my teammates. Unfortunately, we are backed up, but there's nothing we can really do at this moment. Crying gets one shot off. Um, I have my pull. I'm going to hit a max range pull on Marcel. Now, you guys know I love my auto aim pulls, but unfortunately, I cannot auto aim at all because of this delay. Unfortunately, auto aim is also delayed, as you guys saw with the cry man ball play a little bit earlier. So I actually have to aim all my pulls, which is really difficult with delay. But it's not something that I'm not used to, so trying to kind of just figure it out as we play. So you guys can see Marcel is this pull, but he doesn't want to pull any of us before his teammates over there. I move up. I'm going to hit a pull on Marcel. going to be able to get that kill. Crying Man's going to go for the pull. Really good pull by Crying. I'm going to pass him the ball. Unfortunately, Guido plays that really well. I'm able to pull him, make, creating a hole in the wall, which is obviously really good. Marcel moves up, and we're able to score a goal heel, but, here, but unfortunately, we... <laughs> We kind of lined up and gave Mons uh, Consti his bear, which is definitely not the strategy. We should have just let either myself go because I could give crying heals or just crying. But anyways, worked out fine. Really good pull over there by Marcel. He hit a max range pull. And we're kind of in an interesting position over here. They throw down the bear. They have a really, really good position. I used my uh, gadget just trying to stun them for a little bit. Not the greatest stun. Um, but it still worked out. Now, me and crying a little bit of miscommunication over there. I was going for the pull. He was going for the Tara suck. Not really great value for either of us, but it kind of worked out. Um, a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, it did work out, so it's fine. OG's Penguin's going to be able to take out Guido, which is obviously really big, getting the Barley out of the map. And right here, it's basically looking like another overtime game. So, myself and Crying very aware that Marcel has his pull, and that once we get close enough with Consti right beside him, Marcel is going to go for it. So, we're, we know he's going to get a little bit eager, so we're trying to just get to that max distance where it looks like you can pull, but you're actually not able to. So, I'm walking around here. Kind of just like figuring stuff out, trying to get my shots back. Obviously, Crying Man's going to stay close to me. So if I can hit a pull, Crying can get uh, can get some shots off. I'm going to get the ball, kind of just push it up a little bit and go for the pull on Consti. Crying's going to be able to get the kill right there. And we're looking really good. Even if Marcel hits a pull, it's not really the end of the world. So Crying's going to go for the ball, not really do anything. He's going to save his pull. He's going to hold on to his pull. I show my super shot. Crying's going to go for the pull over there. And there's just a really big gap in the middle. So I'm going to take that shot. And we're going to be able to score it and tie the game up at 1-1. One, one. So it's pretty good. Pretty decent, a lot of delay, really difficult, uh, but we're kind of pulling through. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So Brawl Stars is a lot about a mental game. So it took us like three minutes to get into this game because everyone's, you know, clicking brawlers, trying to figure out if they're going to switch comms, trying to do this and that, you know, trying to kind of out psych your team or the other team. And they decided to go the same thing after selecting brawlers for like three minutes, which honestly... Like, like, that's not a bad thing. Everybody does that in competitive. It's kind of like you have to do it. And um, OG decides to go Barley instead of Mr. P. Uh, Barley does apply really good pressure, especially with the super on this map. So we kind of got Consti stuck over here, but it's actually kind of a good spot for him because he can just back us up. I'm going to end up going down over there, but OG gets a really good super off. He's able to kill Marcel. Marcel almost found a spot where he can stay alive. Crime Man's trying to walk up and get that goal, but unfortunately, he doesn't think he has a chance. We're just going to put it kind of in their team's corner. So although it's not a great spot and it's not super accessible for us, it's still a really good place to put it. I'm going to be able to hit my pull on Consti, and we're going to be able to get that kill. Crying's going to go for the solo pull, but Marcel just clips a wall which unfortunately means crying isn't going to be able to hit that. I was kind of waiting for Marcel to pull me here. I wouldn't have really minded a pull because this would have given the ball to like crying man or OG and they would have been able to make a play. A couple walls broken. Marcel decides not to go for it. Good play by him. OG gets a pretty good area denial super down. Um, crying man's over here. He's going to get pulled. Fortunately, the barley is staying a little bit too close. So I'm going to be able to kill that barley. Things are going pretty well. Um, I'm going to be able to hit Consti, which is going to give me my super. So again, we're kind of just waiting for Crying Man to walk up. OG's going to use his super. It's going to do a little bit. Probably, I didn't really need to use that pull, but I wanted to guarantee that kill just because OG was down. So pretty good over here. Not too shabby. Uh, currently one to one or zero to zero. Sorry. One full shot off of super. I'm able to get super, I think, in one more shot. Marcel misses his pull, which is obviously a really huge pull to miss. I know Consti's over there, so I'm going to get that pull on Consti. Really important that Crying uses his gadget when we do that, because then I can see through the walls and know exactly where he is. I'm going to pass the ball up to Crying over there. A little bit of a misplay. He went really aggressive. Um, the gadget by Barley obviously proving really useful over here. I'm going to go down. <clears throat> Decent pull by Marcel. Again, he probably didn't need to pull, but he wanted to confirm that kill with the current situation. So everyone is kind of doing their job here. Very difficult to continue talking since I've been talking for like the last three hours and like screaming and a VC and whatnot. But anyways, I'm able to hit a pull there on Consti. Maybe that one should have missed. I kind of clipped him with the edge of it, but still pretty decent play. I passed the ball up to Marcel. I kind of thought I was going to get pulled. So if you think you can get pulled in that situation, you kind of just throw the ball up. And then when you do and he pulls you, you just pick the ball right back up. Anyways, OG's going to go for it. I baited out Marcel super. 
I'm going to pull Marcel and then just kind of like bop him. And I almost bopped him right back into OG, which would have been hilarious. Bad, but hilarious. But anyways, we're able to end up with that win. And that's going to make it two to one in the Brawl Ball set. So things are looking pretty good. Let's hop over to the next game. I'll show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go. We're going into the fifth game here. So unfortunately, sometimes the replays just don't work. And they don't have the feature available. And that was it for the fourth game. They ended up taking it, obviously, which means there is a fifth game. Um, OG, the only switch was OG went to Spike. That didn't really work out too well. Um, not that he lost lane or anything. It's just Spike doesn't really help out your other teammates as much. It's just a lot on this map about, you know, holding your own lane with it. So we decided to switch off of it. Again, we have really bad delays. So they usually get position really early. And the only way we really get it back is through super. It's just because they're able to peak way better than us. I'm going to pull uh, Marcel over there. And it's not a pull that I want to do. As you guys can see, it breaks that little like hedge of wall. But it's a pull that we have to do if we want to get out of position. Anyways, Gina's super, but we're pretty comfortable kind of just walking around because there's nobody near him. If he pulls us, you know, we have gadget, we have whatever, whatnot. Krang's going to use his super. We're going to be able to, or his gadget, sorry. We're going to be able to bait out Guido's super. Notice that they changed brawlers over here. Um, I forgot what their old brawlers were. Um, not brawlers. They changed, like, the players playing the brawlers. I don't know what the old one was, but it definitely wasn't this. Going to be able to pull Marcel again. Not wanting to break my own walls, but I have to. Again, Krang's going to kind of miss his super because of a wall um a little bit unfortunate but it's fine i um, able to kill guido over there which gives me my super so it's a pretty good position for us right now moving up the map crying's kind of just taking his time trying not to get hit by uh barley shots he didn't mean to pass me that ball which kind of like messed things up is that waste a shot it allows him a little bit of time to come back i have my super over here i obviously want to go for a play i was thinking about pulling marcel but i was going to go down over there i decided not to rush it we had really good positioning looking back maybe i should have went for that pull but ultimately i don't think so anyways me and guido are gonna pull each other he uses his gadget i'm gonna use it last second i tried to use it but this delay is so toxic anyways um i'm gonna be able to hit a shot there crying og was calling for the ball for a while unfortunately crying got it to him a little bit late he was focused on killing marcel and that's gonna kind of like lose his position over there um but that still is fine so there's a lot of broken walls here which isn't good. They had a bear, which wasted a lot of shots. I'm going to miss a pull, and that was such a huge pull. That was my first missed pull in, like, four games, and that was huge. Crying was told not to use his super here, so he's going to flash it, try and scare them, but ultimately, there's, like, nothing we can do. Um, Marcel is going to make a play. I'm going to go down. OG is going to go down, and Crying is going to not spawn in time. Obviously, you can't control the spawns. They're going to take the lead. So with 10 seconds left, we're like, okay, let's go for a play. We're moving up. OG uses super. Marcel's pushed off to the side. And I almost had a play there, actually. If, if the Nita just moved like one or the whatever it was, the Gene just moved like one more inch or whatever to the left. And I would have been able to have a bank shot. It might have had the chance to go in. But unfortunately, not happening this time. And we're going to be going down one to nothing in total sets. So let's go on to Siege and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go on to the next game over here, and it's going to be Siege on Nuts and Bolts. We decide again to go for a triple tank comp, hoping the delay won't be too thick. Now, triple tank is really good because there's just so much HP that you guys have that you guys can so easily kind of just destroy or run a game, basically. Um, good defense, good offense. Unfortunately, OG's going to go down there. Um, he's going to be able to save me, um, or I was supposed to like try and save him, but I wasn't able to. I'm going to get the first spot. So a thing with triple tank is you basically want to go in all the time now we're usually a very passive team we like to just hold position and we play passive brawlers this is kind of a very rare occurrence for us to play so much triple tank me and crying decided we were going to go in and og like last second pulled out um it was really bad kind of communication over there um we only did like 30 what is that 36 percent damage we could have done a lot more if og was there we knew we weren't going to finish anything but if og was there we could have got it to a point where I could have just popped the Rosa super or all three of us could have gone in or crying could have used roll and that kind of you know screwed us over basically to say because right here we basically couldn't do anything um, I was spamming auto aim shoot don't don't judge me for spamming auto aim and not killing Guido it's so hard to shoot with delay um, with Rosa or with Frank or with Daryl without auto aim it's very difficult so Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that kill over there um, and they have a really good push coming I'm trying to defend it over here I don't want to use my super just because I want to use my super to kind of push them back because we had some really good defense We caught the bot a little bit early So although we're allowing them to do damage It's all dependent on who gets the next bot is going to win So I was gonna save it just kind of for pushing up so things are going kind of decent over here I'm, I'm walking up. I'm gonna pull out my super OG is gonna super Unfortunately, OG's gonna miss that super, which is pretty huge. I'm able to take out their little penguin looking thing over there. 
I'm gonna go down to Marcel and it's just crime man over here He's got to deal with a mr. P Whatever it is. He's got to deal with a Daryl. He's got to deal with the barley It's just too much for crying to handle and unfortunately we are going to lose this bot and then eventually lose this game. You know, at this point, the only thing we could have done was kind of dive and go in. But there was nothing we could have really, like, done. We're trying to make something work out over here. OG's trying to get super. I'm trying to get super. There's nothing we could do. Marcel with kind of a little bit of BM over there. So I'm spinning back at him. And that's going to be the end of the first Siege game. So obviously we have delay. Obviously this is a little bit interesting. We're kind of, you know, in a, in a, in a bad spot. But we're, st we're staying with high hopes. We're kind of chilling, you know. We're just... We're like, you know what? We got this. We've beaten this team before. We know we're the better team. We got this. Let's move on. So let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so hopping into the next game, we decided to stick with the triple tank. Now, although it looked kind of bad last game, the basically the sole reason we lost that game outside of this toxic like three second delay was the fact that we messed up our push. So either, again, as I've said before in my Siege Guide video, you either want to fully go in or fully stay out. And we kind of half and halfed it. And that's what lost us the game ultimately because we didn't really have the control that we wanted to and we didn't have the push that we wanted to and we just couldn't do anything so really good playing over here og captures three bolts for our team so it's four to nothing in bolts uh which is really good we're all able to stay alive you guys can see um we have two supers over here They're, they didn't catch the bot early at all they're catching it once it enters the zone so we have a really good push and additionally they have a barley so it's not really the the best defense so the bot isn't even touching the safe at this point but crime man and og go in I'm going to tank for the bot and OG with my Rosa super and then the rest is history. You know, they, they know they lose this match. Triple tank is broken if you can play it right. And that's going to show you, in order, or this is going to show you exactly that. So there we go. Really good. Things are like picking up over here. One to one in the current set. One to nothing for them. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So we're going to switch to Spike um, in, in Barley instead of the triple tank. And I'm going to go on Frank. Now, Frank is not a brawler that I usually play, but we needed to play a tank. Frank is a pretty good tank, um, but we probably should have realized that delay was going to be toxic. So I'm going to go down straight away over there. Um, Cryman doing a really good job on Marcel and Guido, kind of like 2v1ing, holding his position. Even though he isn't getting any bolts, you know, he can't really get any bolts with the delay and the 2v1. So he's kind of just keeping them low. He's doing a really great job. I'm just trying to get shots on Marcel over here. Try and charge my super. Um, so I'm going to move back over here, trying to hit some shots on this... Uh, on this um, bot and things are kind of going decently well at this point you know we kind of caught it pretty early they can't do too much damage i'm able to get a couple hits over there so i'm able to get my super but they do a ton of percentage as they do have a very high damage comp so things aren't looking pretty good i misjudged one of the barley projectiles so i got hit by it so i didn't fully regen og's doing a pretty good job on the left side over there but ultimately can't really do anything i tried to super like two seconds earlier which would have got a hit but Delay said, no, you're not allowed to super. So unfortunately, nothing could have really happened there. OG's winning his lane, but unfortunately, because of Barley Super, he's got to kind of back up. He's not able to get that bolt. Not that it would have changed anything, but anyways, they're able to get this next bot. And with their high defense comp, their or high offense comp, this is going to be a really hard defense. So I get on the bot really early. I'm trying to get hits. I'm trying to get my stun over here. OG on spike or just spike in general does tremendous defense, but they don't even need the bot. They're just going to charge in. And they're going to be able to get this win. So it's 2-1 to one in the, for them in the current map. So this is pretty scary because we need this set unless we are down. Like, we're going to be down 2-0. Not a great position. They have to win one of the next three maps, which isn't really that hard. So really bad position. Let's hop into the next game. Let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. So we're going to switch up the comp. Um, when I switched to Gene last time, things worked out really well. So we're like, you know what? Let's just put us on our strengths. Let's go, Gene. Let's get this going, and it worked pretty well. So OG's gonna be on lane with me. We decided for crime to go to the other side, not where the bolt is, just because we didn't really want to feed super. Kind of popping off over here. This game also, our delay got a tiny bit better, so we didn't really have any or too, too much delay. Like, it was definitely playable. So things are looking pretty good. I'm able to get my pull. I'm able to kill Guido. We have really good control at this point. I'm gonna get rolled on by Marcel, but I'm just gonna kind of push him back with my gadget. Kind of a bad play by him because I'm able to acquire my super through that. Now I'm walking forward, you know, OG's got super, Crying's got super, so OG's going to use his super, hit the safe a few times. I'm going to pull Marcel, Crying's going to go all in, um, eh, if you play, could have probably saved it, but it doesn't really matter. Did a little bit of damage, and we have a really good first push over here, so we it's a 2-2 two, two current tie for bolts. Guido's right in front of me, I'm going to be able to hit that pull really easily, um, 
And again, Marcel's just chilling over here. I'm able to get my uh, pull on Marcel. I'm going to pull Marcel right into me, and I'm going to be able to get that kill. And at this point, we have position, so we're going to be able to get the next bolt, or sorry, the next bot. I'm able to kill Consti over there. Really good position held by OG and Cryman. I'm going to be able to pull their Gene over here. I'm just happy I get to play Gene. I am super happy that I can just play a brawler that I'm super comfortable with and that I love playing. And it, it's working out pretty well so far. So pretty good defense by Marcel getting some damage done. But they don't really have a good defensive comp. So OG's going to go in. Crying Man's going to be a little bit more patient with his role this time. And at this point, I'm saying go, go, go. We're all going to dive in. Going to do a tremendous amount of damage. And we're going to tie the series up at 2 to 2. So the next game is a huge game. The biggest set of the series, or the biggest game of the series so far. If we win, we bring it back to 1 to 1. And if they win, they bring it to 2 to nothing, which is just, that's a big lead right there. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened in the final siege game. Okay, so here we go into the final siege game. So they decided to stay with the same with the same comp. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they've been saying staying with the same comp throughout the entirety of sets. They only really sw uh, switched one or two times. So this is kind of something we're keeping in the back of our head when doing our comps. We know that our comp is going to be able to beat their comp if they stayed the same. We didn't think that they were changing, so we decided to stay the same comp. I'm able to kill Marcel really easily over there using my gadget. And we get really good early control. So I'm going to go on Guido's side. Crying Man staying near me so he can kill somebody if we need to. I'm waiting for Marcel. I'm going to be able to kill Marcel. Reason I waited for Marcel was because he does the he has the best defense, obviously. So I'm just going to pull him and try and just eliminate his defense. He's going to spawn a little bit late. He's going to defend pretty well. But at this point, because I killed him, OG is able to get a ton of shots on the Ike. And we're bringing it down to 61% for the through the first one, which is really, really good. So at this point, I'm kind of just chilling on the left side. You know, I'm trying to like scare them. I'm flashing my super, you know, walking near them with super. I'm going to pull Marcel, bring him kind of around the corner to Crying Man. Crying's going to be able to get a really easy kill over there. Myself and Crying, we're pinching Guido over here. I'm able to hit that final shot. I'm very close to super at this point. It's currently 5 to nothing in bolts. 6 nothing, 7 nothing, whatever it is. We're going to be racking up the bolts over here. And we're able to get the next spot. So OG's going to super the Ike over there. Pretty good super by him as it brings down the damage to us only needing to do 49%. We're going to pull our, uh, Marcel over there, get that pull, and we're just going to start going in. So OG is going to be able to beat Consti over there. And that's basically going to wrap it up as he's going to start shooting the save. Uh, Marcel rolls on us, but he's like, you know what? We can't really defend this. Then he starts trying. Like, why Marcel? It's toxic. But anyways, Bot's going to be able to take it. OG is going to be able to take it. And we get a huge win but that's gonna wrap up the video for today as again as i said this would be like a 45 minute video if i didn't do this it's already really long for a bobby bs video and we're only done two of the sets so anyways it's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video part two will be coming tomorrow again i haven't done competitive in a very long time so if you guys like this on the channel definitely let me know if you guys won't i you know, I like putting it on the channel. If you guys don't, let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, but that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button as it does help me out a ton. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.